destroy things. The world changed centuries ago, and they're still waiting for the God who comes. Does he ever come? Of course not. Gods never actually show up. They only exist in humans' minds, like money and morality. If I can't kill her, how do I get her to leave Baltal? She has to believe that she successfully summoned forth Dionysus in hopes that he will ravish her, quite literally devour her, until she's lost into oblivion. So she seeks death, the true death, the one thing she's evolved beyond. Ironic, isn't it? Yeah, they're really not that smart, these Maynards. So how does she summon this non-existent god of hers? I never said he was non-existent. I just said he never comes. She believes if she finds the perfect vessel, sacrifices and devours part of him or her, while surrounded by the magic of her familiars, then her mad god will appear. At that point, when she willingly surrenders herself to him... That's the only point she can be killed. He was the smartest boy in class. <laughs> the perfect vessel. Um, a human? They prefer supernatural beings. They're too natured. Shifters, yes. And wares. Fortunately, they've shown little interest in us. Something about our hearts not beating. But they'll try any other being that straddles the two worlds. As long as it has a beating heart. You have to remember, they've been trying for centuries. They're constantly improvising the recipes in hopes of finding that one magic element that will make it all happen. Idiots. Excuse me. 